Pal here with more Imperion, and today we're doing a workshop highlight. So, what's going on is Commander Shepard Kegger, <laughs> links will be down in the description below, has done a one-to-one -one reconstruction of a ship from another game called Star Citizen, for those who don't know what this is, is actually a game put out by Chris Roberts, uh, is in development currently. And they have their own version of an early access thing going on. And what Kegger did is to do, as you can see, a one-to-one -one reconstruction of the ship in Imperion. So this ship is on the workshop, links to the ship, Kegger's workshop, as well as to the, uh, the Star Citizen website will all be down in the description below. Uh, all of the imagery that you see that is tagged to Star Citizen is owned by Cloud Imperium Games and is being used without their permission. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you how accurate the, the Kegger was in recreating the, uh, the, the Starfarer inside Imperion. Now, Kegger has said that originally that this was, you know, being developed for PvE and is actually most useful in PV PvE. However, he is going to, or I should say, they are going to redesign a little bit and make it a little bit more PvP viable as well. So, going into the ship a little bit, what you have here is the general hangar area, the, the main cargo room. The original intent of the Starfarer as far as the lore of Star Citizen is concerned is that it is a mobile mining and fuel processing station. The, uh, the ship actually has the ability to harvest and process materials into fuel. There's also a pumping system on board that they could uh, do in-flight refuelings and there's normally large tanks on the exterior which you can see in the reference shots um, apparently Commander Shepard Kegger has decided to not include the tanks specifically because they wanted to allow the, uh, the the folks who were using the ship to basically figure out what they wanted to do with it that way you're not stuck in a single role now Obviously, the, the game systems between this and Star Citizen are vastly different. However, the level of accuracy that Kager was, actually, was able to achieve in this is nothing short of impressive. So I wanted to share this with you, let you see what it looked like, and to go into a little bit more detail about it. So where you are right now is this is actually an area to go EVA. Um, in the Starfarer if you needed to go out, like if you were in space and needed to do any type of exterior work, maybe go out and fix things or whatever, you'd be able to exit in that room and uh, do your repairs or whatever the maintenance was. Now back in the actual cargo area, of the door we just went through is leading us up to the observation deck. Now, the observation deck is interesting because it overlooks the overall cargo area, but it's also the way to get around most of the ship. This is a small control area that you use for the pumping stations, which would be out here. Um, in the original build, the original ship that this is recreating, there would be workstations on either of those platforms, and then there, this would be the, the basically the, uh, the fueling arm controls. So you can see the large single th centerline engine. There are lifts to either side of the door. In Imperion, this is using you know the elevator blocks. There is one both on port and starboard. Both lead into a central room here, which in the original ship actually would be escape pods. And then that would lead into a uh, the gravity generator, which would be directly in front of us. This side shows you the uh, the centerline engine, the interior works. If you come back here, it's just kind of a little out-of-the-way hallway. Um, Imperion being what it is, the blocks don't quite match up because of the types of blocks that are being used. This hallway 
leads you into basically it's an observation and maintenance area as you can see there's windows looking out into what would be the basically the cargo the uh, the fuel tank area and then it comes back to a gunnery position here in the aft portion of the ship now this little side area is a maintenance duct in Imperion you can see the engines there are thrusters here so you'd be able to do you know, internal repairs there's also a couple of reactors over here and this ship is ridiculously fuel consumption consuming it is a CV build and so with it being a CV in atmosphere you do basically get a lot of uh, burn now in the original ship this actually would be an escape pod or a, uh, a rapid <laughs> exit point um, Imperion again different systems so you do with what you can now if you wanted to access the engineering area for that centerline engine you'd come through here um, as you can see they have a window here looking out and then you have a, a large reactor taking place of the uh, the engine system that would normally be there more power back here and then you have a mirror of what you had on the port side on starboard now this is this ship is actually kind of interesting because of the fact that it is symmetrical in some areas now what you will see we've got a, another gunnery turret back here and then uh, again you have a crawl space for maintenance purposes um, in this case it's going to be your thrusters and reactors so coming back to what I was saying about the the ship symmetry it's actually kind of interesting because of the fact that so much of the ship is act is actually symmetrical and then you get up into the the forward sections you have again another crawl space um, now in Star Citizen you actually be able to crouch and go under there's a, a small walkway there that leads you into the forward section. So, and this is the little hidden doorway here for it. And then there is a lift system that will take you into different portions of the ship. If you head up, it'll take you in the residential. And as we head down, this is gonna take us back into the cargo area. Uh, so, um, huge, huge ship, really well done. And as a one-to-one, -one, conversion very well achieved so coming up to this way this set of stairs will actually take you into the uh, the residential area maintenance it's uh, more more walkways and things getting you about the ship this would be a lift going into the actual residential like crew quarters area um, the doors to either side lead you into maintenance areas this would be the mess hall leading into the captain's quarters. Now, this is going to be a little bit different than what you would see in Star Citizen because of the, again, the way that the system is set up. But you have the captain's quarters here, as well as private area. And then in Imperion, this actually is where your jump drive engineering section is. It's actually a very good use of the space. Um, so, well done, Kegger. I really like the way that you did this because this is a section of the ship that doesn't actually exist in the normal game. So what he did is he was able to incorporate this very, very nicely. So coming out of the, the captain's quarters, back through the kitchen area, there is another turret for, well, another, another chair for a turret operator. And then you have more of the, uh, the access like little crawl spaces and such and if you remember what I said earlier this basically takes you if you continue down it would take you back into the cargo area going forward here this is the crew quarters uh, non-officer obviously now they had to add the shower spaces on this side and then when you go towards the aft of the ship so actually forward on the ship <laughs> so we're going to the forward section here and then there is the uh, the gendered bathrooms his and her bathrooms so all right 
So that is most of the crew space. There's a lot of little detail in the ship. Definitely recommend you grabbing a copy of this if you're interested. Um, and taking some time to take a tour around is definitely worth it if you like big and uh, very detailed builds. So we have the med bay, something else that is not actually in the original ship. So the fact that they were able to utilize a little bit more of that dead space is really nice. And then we are back into the uh, the side hallways, maintenance entry areas. Yeah. So let's head back out. What we're going to do is we're going to... Let me see if I can remember how to get up there now. Uh, we're going to head to the cockpit of the ship. Now the nice thing is, is you have this little observatory here, this hallway, which is where all of your lifeboats would be, or your life capsules, um, escape pods, however you want to look at it. And this is actually really nicely done, because in the Star Citizen universe, the escape pods actually have a retractable roof like that over them. So when you would when you would access them um, and deploy, basically this panel slides open and these and the escape pods eject out. Now this is basically the bridge crew escape system. Um, moving in here just a little bit further, we come to the bridge, and the bridge I have to say is probably the most impressive recre recreation I've seen so far. Um, they nailed the feeling of the bridge as close to possible for what you can do inside Imperion. So again, Kegger, great job, very well done. And this was just absolutely amazing. All right. Now, something that we aren't going to show you from the Star Citizen side, but we will show you here, is the flight dynamics of the ship. Um, I have to say, for a CV of this size, and for the the thruster, like the the thruster positions and counts, it's actually a fairly maneuverable ship. I was very surprised by just how responsive the whole thing is. Um, again, you do burn a lot of fuel in an atmosphere, so if you notice when we were powering things on, there's actually two sets of thrusters. There's a full throttle setting and then a regular throttle, uh, regular thruster set. If you disable the full throttle thrusters, you will get probably about 20% more time in an atmosphere uh, for the same amount of fuel. So if you go full throttle, that turns on all of the thrusters. You do get a little bit better of a, a handling mate, uh, profile. And that is something that Kager said he wants to come back and revisit because of the fact that if you are doing just the regular thrusters, you're burning at about 112% in an atmosphere. With everything turned on, you end up burning something about 200%. Um, so you do go through the fuel very, very quickly in an atmosphere. So the, uh, the ship itself, though, just beautiful lines on it, very well done. I really do like the fact that it just came out so so close to uh, the original as a one-to-one -one conversion it's good I I really like it so um, yeah <laughs> anyway uh, as you can see here very responsive we get a nice little bit of snap around on the uh, the XY the r rotational on Z uh, it was actually surprisingly responsive. I didn't think it would be quite that zippy, but yeah, no, it works really, really well. And it just looks fabulous in space. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's like, wow. Such, an, such a great build. Uh, just doing a little bit of handling here, show you just how responsive this thing is. I'm going to fly through the asteroids, you know. Like Han Solo once said, you know, never tell me the odds. <laughs> but yeah, so you just coming around here, flying through first person. You're going to see it stutter a little bit. Uh, there was a recent update to Imperion, 
and I've been getting a little bit of stutter in the uh, in spaceflight now, specifically going through the asteroids. And I'm thinking it might just be something with the way that they they've changed the render model or the the render render <laughs> render engine. <laughs> so. But you notice not anywhere near any of the objects, and we're just getting a little bit of stutter. Um, nothing game breaking, but you know, it's uh, it's it's not the ship is hitting things. It really is just the engine in the game. So, um, but yeah, no, the ship itself very responsive, handles very very well, especially for a ship of this size. Uh, I would expect it to lumber a little bit more. The original ship that this is based on, uh, you know, there's no way, there's no nice way to say it. It handles like a space cow. <laughs> so this this is probably the only place where the the recreation of the original uh, ba basically runs a little bit better and a little bit more fun than the original. I think so. Oh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any questions, be sure to throw them down in the section below. And if you haven't done so already and want to see more, be sure to subscribe as well. Once again, all of the links will be down below. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody.